Hey, it's Steve. Today we're going to take a look at the Woodland Scenics N-Scale Chain Link Fencing. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this product. Now, one thing you'll notice right away uh, is that even though this is N-Scale, the fence posts and everything are fairly large for N-Scale. In fact, really they're more like HO scale type fence posts. Here is a BLMA chain link fencing kit that's also N scale that I've had for a while and never used. And you can see the difference in scale here. Basically the fencing itself is a smaller scale than the Woodland Scenics fence. And uh, overall the detail is a little bit higher. Now one thing I can tell you is that because this Woodland Scenics fencing is sort of you know, larger than scale in terms of the posts, uh, it is going to be more durable than, say, something like this, which is a much more scale product. You can see, uh, looking at the included posts here in the BLMA kit, that they're dramatically thinner than what you have in the Woodland Scenics kit here. So, again, uh, you know, not really to scale exactly in terms of the posts especially, but it is going to help it be more durable, and that can be an advantage for especially a portable layout where I plan to install this fence kit. So let's open this up and take a look. Okay, you do have some instructions here on how to install the uh, kit here and where you should apply glue and, and so forth. Now one thing you'll notice is that some of the sections of fencing have posts on the ends and some do not. So obviously the ones that do not have posts on the end will go in between the sections that do have posts on the end uh, when you're making a long run of continuous fencing. So this basically shows that here as well to, you know, uh, for where you should be gluing things together when you do a longer piece of uh, continuous fencing. So overall, simple directions, obviously, you don't really need them. You can figure this out pretty much on your own. Uh, you can see certainly, basically, you're gonna have uh, to drill holes for these fence posts and then glue things in the proper order so you don't have, you know, two posts next to each other and then two sections with like without a post at all. Uh, so as long as you take care of that, you're gonna be pretty much good to go. Now, this is sealed in here with a piece of sort of tape We'll take some of these out here. Now here is one of the gate sections. Now one thing um, that I noticed here right off is that the back of the gate section does not have any break at all in the fencing. So it looks a little bit goofy on the backhand side, but on this side here, you know, obviously you have all the gate detail um, and everything looks sort of, you know, normal from that side of things. And the same thing with the double gate section, you have the gate detail on one side and the other side, you know, it's just straight fencing. So. So I can see here two sections, one with posts and one without. So you would drop them. So you would see with, with assembling them, you would basically just butt them up like this to produce the longer run of fencing. Let's go ahead and install these on the little layout that I'm working on and see how it works out. Okay, so here's a quick overview of the layout project that I'm working on. You know, everything's kind of in various stages of construction here. Um, and there are different places I do plan to have fencing. One is going to be on the edge of this upper level here around the perimeter so our little end scale people don't go falling off, you know, off this uh, large ledge here, uh, you know, into the shrubbery below. So I am going to go ahead and use this end scale fencing here from Woodland Scenics around this upper level here and we'll see what that looks like. So I'll just go ahead and use like a small screwdriver to poke the holes. Um, I'll find something that's about the same size as the fence posts themselves, and it'll just be a matter of using some super glue, some CA to, uh, you know, glue those posts in place and the pieces together, and it should be a pretty straightforward process. So let's go ahead and get that done. So this is the smallest little screwdriver I have, and I'll go ahead and use this. It's a little bit bigger than the actual fence posts, but it should work out okay, I think. Uh, I'll go ahead here and decide how I want to have everything lined up. And I'll go ahead and do this corner one first, just to get that installed. I will get my fence section posts in there. And get the first one installed in the holes. Now this next section, go ahead and get the holes lined up first. Having slightly larger holes also gives me a little bit of wiggle room side to side when I'm trying to get these pieces glued in.
So this does install really easy and I do like that. Poke the holes, put the glue in. They're very rigid fence sections, um, again, because they're a little bit oversized. And so it does make the installation go really, really fast and easy. The actual fencing itself is metal. The posts, however, are in fact all plastic. So anyway, there's a look at the Woodland Scenics N-Scale chain link fencing. So it's a nice durable product. It's pretty easy to install versus other fencing materials that I've used. And it does make for a nice looking chain link fence, even though the posts are a little bit larger than N-Scale. But if you are looking for a fairly durable N-Scale fencing that is pretty easy to install, I would recommend taking a look at this product. Anyway, as you can see, I am getting pretty close to being done with this little 17 by 30 inch end scale mini layout project. So sometime during August, I should have a video on the complete uh, construction of this layout project. So look for that here coming up in the next few weeks. But anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.